This week, we're back on Flood Watch. Welcome back to Cars and Things Restos. All right, uh, I've come for a bit of a drive out towards uh, Wentworth. Uh, we're gonna go back in through Merbeen and have a bit of a look. Hey. Okay, we're out here at Abbasid Bridge. And uh, you can see there, out there, how high it is to get into the bottom of the bridge there and I'm not sure if we can see how fast it's flowing but she's honking through there can hear it rushing through uh, so she's certainly up this side of the town so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take you out over the other side of the road over near the Meridian Road and uh, show you the, the sea of water out over there all right, we'll go over oh, there. No. So that's where we were, just over there. Let's come down here. This is uh, the Meridian Road, and this is what she's looking like out here. Oh, she stinks a bit. So that's it. It's just a sea of water right out there. And as you can see, you can't get through the road. I'm not sure how far that goes down. There is a hill over there. We might go up the top of that hill and just look out over there. All right, we'll go and have a squeeze. Right, yeah. We were just uh, on the other side of that house down the other side there. And if we can see that out there, let's uh, pull it in a little bit. That's where the water just looks like a huge lake. Sea of water out there. That is a lot of water. And when it resides and comes down, it's still going to be a lot of water out there. And it's going to end up stinking. Oh, on to, we'll go out to uh, the brickworks near Mervine and I'll show you how it is there. We're just down here at the brickworks. Brickworks over there, as you can see how much water's in there. Now the river is a fair hike in. That's probably, it could be a kilometre in, I reckon. It's a fair way in there. Um, so that's the Mervain Common. Uh, here's the back road that goes through to, up to the winery. And we can see how much water there. Over there, pushing into the back of Merbeen. And uh, there's all motorbike tracks all in there. When I was racing motocross back in the 90s, we used to go training in there. Uh, Trev and I still go riding in there and haven't been in there for a while, and I don't think we're going to be going back in there for a while. Um, yeah, so I thought it was going to be higher here than what it is, but but anyway, it's uh, high enough. All right, we might head out to Pump Hill and show you the Mad Mile. Oh right, yeah, here's the uh, that's Pump Hill, there. and here's the Mad Mile, fully underwater. It's been like that for a fair few weeks now. Oh, she's got a ripe old smell to it, this water. And we can see it heads out right out there. Out, I think it might even go out to the railway line, probably out to Lake Hawthorne. So there it is. I reckon the whole of Mad Mile's underwater. Let's go. Over here to the river and have a bit of a look, see? There she is. The main boat ramp is just over there. You can see it pushing right through out over into New South Wales. 
There's the uh, Mervine pump station. Here, look how low that is compared to the water. Anyway, all right. So what we might do is we might head back into Mildura. We might come over, go around, come back in, see if we can get back into 3MA corner, see how high it is there. Then we'll take you down to the waterfront and have a look down there and uh, see how high it is up on the pump shed. Alrighty, here I are, am. Down here at the railway line, run through to Mildura. That's Lake Hawthorne, out over there. That's Gibb Street over there. Uh, know all this area pretty well. Ridden me motorbike many a times down this railway line. I'll give you the tip. Back when I was going to school, I used to ride into my mate's place, Shays, and we in along here. But anyway, here it is. It's right up to the railway line. I reckon we're about oh, a bit over. We're about a k from from the river. So over there was where I was. Uh, that's uh, the Mad Mile running along there. And it's right up here. There used to be a creek that ran through here. Ran over to Lake Hawthorne. I'm not sure if it's still there. Um, it might be locked off, I'm not sure. But whether there's a pipeline or a culvert going under there, I don't know. But anyway, she's right up in, in here. So that's a lot of water. All right, we'll head into Mildura. Righty. Come in here, 3MA corner, and look at that, look where she's at compared to where it was. Hasn't come over though, well it's got a foot to go, but they're predicting uh, the peak is today. So, I don't know, there's still a lot of water coming down be interesting it's only got to come up half a foot and it's going to come up over the original levee um, but that's that's the new levee so it ain't going to get through that so there's still a fair bit of water hanging about alrighty so now we might head back down to the waterfront, uh, down the rowers, and see where the where it is there. All right, alrighty, we're down here at the pump shed, and there it is there, well up over 75, and probably a half a meter from 56, which is what my mate said. He said probably be half a meter under 56 so if it does uh, uh, peak tonight or today he was on the money but we'll see so we'll go up here a bit further show you it all up over the path yeah look at that dirty big carp nicely starving of oxygen no oxygen in the water that's the second one I've seen Alrighty, she's honking, and here it is, the pathway, so she's right up over there. So that will be enough water guys, we don't need any more, you can keep it up there where you're from. Alrighty, we'll head down to the pier and have a look at that. See what it looks like up Just there. Just walking down in the front of the cafeteria. <laughs> that looks like big snags jammed in the water there. You can actually see the, the uh, barrier in the water there. Alright, 
up, we'll go up here to the... Alrighty. Looks like it's uh, dropped here a little bit. Has been up here. And it's dropped a bit. Oh, there you go. Maybe it is receding. Maybe the peaks happened. I don't know. Maybe it has peaked. Hey, look at this, who's this bloke? Hey! <laughs> it does, it looks like it might have dropped. So maybe it has peaked. Geez, I would have... They said it was supposed to peak today. So maybe it has. You wouldn't think it'd retreat that quick, but hey, I haven't been wrong before, haven't I, people? Anyway, it's still a lot of water out there. A lot of water. You can see where it's been up. Up to there, so maybe she has. Alrighty. Alright. There you are. Our flood update for uh, what are we? 17th of December. Alright. That'll leave for this episode. Um, if you like what you see, jump on and subscribe. Hit the bell, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Cheers! Alrighty, up here today doing a bit of polishing on uh, Mako, and this bloke's turned up. What's happening, Trav? Just boiling about the prices. What we do this morning? After we polished, what we do? We a bit of a dry. What do you think? Yeah, it's got some bone. <laughs> <laughs> it's good fun. <laughs> yeah. She don't. Okay, so a couple of weeks. Trav, you're on holidays next Wednesday, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so we've just been polishing away. Um, smacking. Yeah, we've just been um, polishing away. Um, we've got the Z, we're doing the Z as well. Um, but we're really looking forward to the Nats. It's getting excited. What is the date, Trevor? 70 what? Uh, yeah. uh, 17th, I think, isn't it? So it's the 17th. We're getting close. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to put this up, but it'll be before we go to the Nats anyway. Um, so we're going to keep uh, mucking around with the Z. We're going to get Trav went for squirt in Mako today. He's, well, made, him, made him smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. Welcome back to Cars and Things Restos. We are out and about for our Christmas party. Travis! Johnny! Johnny! Nicholas! <laughs> we are out uh, having a nice meal and just drinking lemonade. Yes, Nick? Yes, Paul. <laughs>